rock a bye baby on the treetops. Congratulations goes out to Miss Candace Dillard Bassett and Chris. Um, Candace is having a little bambino, y'all. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Well, that's probably how they got the baby, but congratulations are in order to them. I truly believe this is why Candace actually walked away from the Real Housewives of Potomac, although to hear some folks tell it, child, they knew um, about Robin, which we're going to get into, but I definitely know that there are some people that were in the group chats that knew about Robin because Let's just say I know of someone who she told uh, that she was not coming back some weeks ago. So um, I truly believe that Candace and Chris left on her own, even if she left because she thought she might be getting the ex. I still believe she chose to walk away for her peace of mind. Um, I am so while I'm glad that she walked away from this toxicity of Potomac, especially with her being pregnant, I also feel like it's such a missed opportunity to be along for her with her journey. This season alone, she literally told her therapist, I want a baby and was crying, you know, and what an opportunity to get some heart back into Potomac. Yes, with all these shows, we love the shading and the reading and the back and forth and the, the firing off and all that. But we also like it to have a little bit of heart. And I truly believe that following Candace's journey would have been beautiful. And I hope that Bravo didn't know. And I hope that they kick in their own behinds right now. But let's get into the article. So this was reported by E.T. RHOP star Candace Dillard Bissett is pregnant, expecting first child with husband Chris. After announcing her exit from the Royal Housewives of Potomac, the Bravo star shares the exciting start of her next chapter with E.T. Candace Diller Bissett is upgrading from cry angles to baby wipes. The Real Housewives of Potomac star exclusively tells ET she's expecting her first child with Chris uh, Bassett. Bassett, I'm about 13 weeks, so just about into the second trimester. It's been weird, but also really wonderful. I think to keep it kind of to ourselves to this point, Candace shares with ET, our immediate family knows. My mom, I told my mom on her birthday in February, my dad knows. Chris's parents know, my siblings know, and that is my core best friend group. But outside of that, it's just been like kind of quietly just growing a bun. The drive back singer documented some of her journey to motherhood on the Bravo series, filming counseling sessions with fertility specialists and the prep work for in vitro. The couple's baby to be came from one of the embryos they froze two years ago. I think we were both kind of content to have them just sit there until my cutoff date. Candace confesses, referencing the window Chris gave her to bleep or get off the pot when it came to babies. She needed to be pregnant by the time he turned 50. But then I got the itch, she says, as the couple hit the under five year mark on that countdown clock. I always wondered, like, how would I know when I was ready? And I always felt like part of my anxiety was that I wasn't sure that I would know. And when I knew it was undeniable. I kind of woke up and realized that I was never going to be 100% ready. I just had to trust the process and trust my doctors and stop being afraid and just do it. So once we decided together that we were going to do that together, it just kind of, it just was kind of all moving by faith from there. Candace underwent implantation in January, leading to an anxiety filled two weeks of waiting to find out if the procedure was successful. She kept busy with a trip to Los Angeles for the Grammys, which delayed finding out by a few days as she wanted to be back home with Chris when the doctor broke the news. Our doctor called us at 8 a.m. and she tells us that we're pregnant, Candace shares. We waited and waited and waited all this time. So to finally hear that after those two weeks, the process had worked after a year of doing the shots. I did two rounds of egg retrieval to do the shots in your stomach. I had to do the shots in my bum bum every day, which was not always fun. And to finally have it all pay off was amazing. The pair don't know yet whether they're having a boy or a girl. They had one male em embryo and one female embryo. So the doctors know, Chris explains, we did all the tests. Obviously, we wanted something healthy. 
And I was like, listen, let's just take the highest graded egg and we'll put it in there. And this is the one surprise of this whole experience that we don't know yet. The two do plan to find out the sex of the child before Candace gives birth. It's so cool that you literally have no idea what you're getting, Candace says, what their personality is. Although at our last sonogram, signs are pointing to them being more like Chris than me. Is that a bad thing, Chris asks? Laid back, Candace clarifies. We're trying to get them to move for the sonogram. And they were like being camera shy because before the camera came out, they were moving around and they just pulled out the camera and they were like, nope. Candace and Chris's bundle of joy will join his three kids from previous relationships. That's something I got to keep in mind as we go through this process, right? That I've done this three times already. This is her first time, Chris reflects. I've got to make sure for me that I stay engaged because I've got to be super supportive for her and she's going to need that all the way through. So that's kind of what I'm looking forward to just to share it and experience it with Candace and just see where it goes. There's a lot of comfort in knowing that he's done this three times with two boys and a girl. So he's seen both sides. Candace says as for what she's most looking forward to about baby Candace is already thinking far into the future. I'm excited to just support them and whatever they want to do. She muses starting to tear up. What, what were we watching? Something about like kids playing soccer or sports or something. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, what if my son or daughter wants to play football? I'm not an outdoor person. I'm not a sports person. I can only tell you when there's a touchdown happening. But if my kid wanted to play football, I would get a big mosquito net and be outside, you know, cheering and yelling and ready to fight the referee. So I'm just excited to meet them. As for fears, Candace also jumps ahead a bit. Beyond when the baby comes and it's time for school, I'm terrified of math homework, she cracks. But I guess with the birth, I guess I'm just looking forward to meeting them. Like I always have these dreams. I have dreams like every other night of me just holding the baby. But all you see is the head. So I'm excited to just hold them. I'm looking forward to the community, the mom community, she adds. It's a space I've been kind of peering into from the outside. Most of my friends and my cousins have kids. I've helped raise and change diapers and babysit all of my cousins' kids. So it's just going to be fun to be a part of that community and, you know, to learn and grow as a mother, as a member now. Candace is just starting to show, but admits her bump often feels like a food baby. I'm bloated all the time. It's so annoying. I've been able to fool people, I think, successfully thus far. Now people are going to be walking. I'll be in the grocery store and they'll be looking for the bump. So I'm excited about that. Baby arrives this fall as as far as where Candace and Chris's family heads after that, the two haven't decided if they'll add more to their world after they welcome this little one into the world. We do have another embryo in the freezer, Candace points out to E.T. I'm just kind of taking it day by day. Thankfully, I feel really blessed so far to be just about in my second trimester, and I haven't been really sick, super sick. I haven't had like super crazy pregnancy symptoms. So that's helpful in thinking about doing it again. But also it's like, could we just find a wonderful surrogate for the second one that is on the table? That's an option that some women have the luxury of entertaining. So we'll see. Let me pop one out and we'll see. I'm smiling because I'm really excited for her in life, whether it's some people want to get married. Uh, some people want to have children. Some people have a goal of obtaining a certain house or just a house being a homeowner. Some people aspire to a certain type of job. Anything that you want in life and you've been praying for and manifesting when you get it. I know for me, watching something like that happen for somebody just makes me happy for them because there's no better feeling than getting what you've prayed for, right? And it can be a little nervous, no matter what it is, a little nerve wracking like, but I'm just excited for her and Chris. I'm so glad again that she's out of that toxic Potomac situation. I've I said it at the top of this video, I think it's a opportunity missed because I would have loved to see it. Although we don't know how they would have treated her, but maybe she'll get the Ashley Darby treatment, pop out a baby and all of a sudden everybody forget everything you've ever done. Who knows? But Chris, Candace, Congratulations. Um, a baby is an exciting thing, especially when you're excited about it. So good for y'all. Prayers that your pregnancy goes smoothly and all that good stuff. I'm excited for you. I truly, truly, truly am. Speaking of Potomac, na, 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye. One more time. 
na 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 hey 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 goodbye ladies and gentlemen robin i took a dna test and i 100 don't care wandering dixon has announced that she will not be returning to the real housewives of potomac let's get in here she said it on her podcast but let's read it from people Robin Dixon confirms exit from Real Housewives of Potomac after eight seasons. I was fired. I'm okay with it because nothing lasts forever, said Dixon, who is one of the Maryland set franchise's original cast members when it premiered in 2016. The Real Housewives of Potomac continues to experience more casting shakeups following the show's rocky eighth season. Robin Dixon is leaving Bravo's Maryland set iteration after eight seasons. She announced the newest she announced on the newest episode of her podcast, Reasonably Shady, that published on Monday, April 15th. Yes, I will not be returning for season nine of the Real Housewives of Potomac. It's reality. The network did not invite me back. I was fired for lack of a better word. For lack of better words, I will not sugarcoat the situation and say, oh, I'm walking away and this is a break or anything like this. You know, that was shade, right? To Candace. This is a network decision. Um, we know that she was one of the original cast members. She told uh, her co-host on the episode, I'm okay with it because nothing lasts forever. I've had a very long run on the show and I just really appreciate that time and the opportunity that I had on the show um, before extending her gratitude to the network and to Truly Original, the production company behind RHOP. Thank you to the fans who have watched us from day one. I do want to especially thank all the fans and viewers who have supported me, showed love to me. Child, let me tell you, they on Twitter right now, some of them asking everybody to buy the hats from her. And then somebody said they bought one and then they said, thank you so much. We appreciate it. That's a lot of support from the group chat, but good for her. Uh, let's see, whether you directly sent me love or you prayed for me or you have positive thoughts around me, I appreciate you. And I hope I inspired you, the viewers, the fans to live your life authentically, to not feel pressure to change for anyone or impress people and to just be yourself. Uh, news of Dixon's exit was first reported by the Jasmine brand on March 25th, the same day Dixon's co-star Dillard Bissett announced with people exclusively that she would be leaving. But Dixon didn't address the reports until Monday's podcast episode. Then she says this, y'all. I wanted to speak my own business, my own life, my own news, my own life, my child. This is, wait a minute. People have re uh, repeated the sentence twice. They did it earlier today. Child, are they... Are they um, proofreading. I wanted to speak my own business, my own life, my own news, and I wanted to share it out of my own mouth when the time was appropriate. And I felt like the appropriate time would be once season eight of The Real Housewives of Potomac was finished airing, which it is now, which it is now finished airing. The last reunion episode just went off last night, and I wanted to respect the network and respect the show and wait until the season ended, which I think makes sense. What they didn't put in here is that she also said she wanted to tell her own business, but someone else decided to, which she thinks is very rude. And my question was, who did you tell that told it? Either it was production that leaked it possibly to the Jasmine brand, or was it somebody from one of your DM group chats? During her remarks, Dixon did get emotional as she addressed Bryant, her longtime best friend, since the show started. That's when they had got back. But anyway... I really want to say I love you. It's been such a fun, amazing, stressful, crazy, wild journey the past eight years. I couldn't imagine doing what we did with anyone else. To my green-eyed bandit, my partner in crime, although we still have reasonably shady, I'm still going to talk to you all the still going to talk to you all the time and see you all the time. I hate that that part of our relationship is not there anymore. Robin Dixon will no longer be on the show. I do. I will say this. I don't celebrate, I don't want to celebrate anyone losing an income. That's 100%. So I pray that she did what was right with her money, you know, for her and her family. And also that her spa that she's opening um, works out. Plus she has embezzled. Um, Robin has tried some different things through the years. She, the hat, remember then she, her and Giselle went and looked for 
tractor trailers because she was going to buy a truck, a truck. Then she did real estate. Remember the open house they went to when Giselle and Monique kind of got into it? Um, she's doing the spa. So I pray that the spa sustains her and she gets more opportunities from that end. However, I do have to say, although, and I just said I didn't want wish for anybody to lose their job. Although I wished that Giselle was the person removed and we got to see Robin without her. Um, I'm not sad that Robin is going either. Uh, I'm not, but I do truly, honestly do wish her and her family. Well, I do wonder though, now that she's not going to be on the show, if Juan is going to go ahead and move in or actually come out with his girlfriend. Okay. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly um, signed a person who lives in the DMV. Okay. Um, Moving on, moving on. The streets are hot. The block is hot. Let me tell you something. So y'all know I do gig work. For those of y'all that don't know, welcome. Thank you so much for um, coming to my channel. I don't take for granted that you are spending some of your time over here watching the video. I truly appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Um, I do gig work. And don't say the companies, but clearly you can figure it out. I'm out on the road. People get in my car and I take them to A or B, right? That allows me the flexibility to be able to do this and other stuff. And um, hubby's very supportive of that while he's out there, you know, working and supporting the family. And I support Sue, doing my gig, working and stuff. But um, so I was driving today and in between picking up people, I was thinking about things that I want to talk about, right? So I had already did the Robin News, boom. And let me tell you, my boo, Carlos J. Harris was hitting me left and right. Boom, Candace is pregnant. Boom, the next story I'm about to tell y'all. And then another story after that. I said, come on, Carlos. Matter of fact, I told him, I said, thank you, Big Papa. Because with me driving, sometimes I don't get to the news until later. But like I said, in between uh, passengers, or if I take a break or whatever, I look up, okay, what do I want to talk about? What's interesting out there, you know, that I want to talk to uh, the viewers about. So so much I was like <gasps> when my text was going off like what is going on down to the Bravo world because according to Distractify Real Housewives of Miami star Alexa Napoleon's husband Todd child Todd filed for divorce he said no more child they didn't left the penthouse and now he's leaving the marriage let's get into it it looks like Bravo star Alexia Napola's time on Real Housewives of Miami could get a little more messy when the show returns for season seven. After a tumultuous season of defending her and her husband Todd Napola's lavish lifestyle, it seemed like she and Todd were ready to put their rumors behind them. However, Todd has other plans in mind for his future that doesn't involve his wife. Distractify can exclusively report that Todd has filed for divorce from Alexia after almost three years of marriage. We saw them get married on the show. Here's what we know about the couple's unexpected split. Just one month, at, just one month after the Real Housewife of Miami season six reunion, Todd has filed for divorce from the I Por Favor podcast host, according to the Miami-Dade County court records. I hope Distractify did their due diligence and scrolled all the way down. Because remember when Marisol and Alexia were telling Adriana that her boyfriend was married, but they hadn't scrolled all the way down and see that there actually was a divorce. So I hope Distractify scrolled all the way down. But anyway, says Todd filed for divorce on Thursday, April 11th. This is new, new child. His attorney, Michael J. Almond, is also listed in the filing. Alexia is listed as the respondent on the case, though her attorney's information isn't in the court docs. Todd's divorce filing doesn't give much context into why he's ending his and Alexia's marriage after only a few years. The documents can only confirm that he decided to part ways. Throughout season six of The Real Housewives of Miami, Alexis co-star questioned her and Todd's financial situation and the state of their marriage. So we already know what we're about to get for season uh, seven. Alexia has definitely solidified her spot for next season. It's going to be something that is for sure. Lastly, let's get into the Jasmine brand. Now, as we know, the Jasmine brand uh, announced on March 20, reported on March 25th that Robin Dixon would not be returning to the Real Housewives. Potomac. And there were people that were like, oh, I'm not sure. 
because they had got it. I forget what they had got it kind of wrong about something, but clearly the Jasmine brand was correct uh, because Robin announced today that she wouldn't be returning. The Jasmine brand has another announcement for us. Let's get into it. Exclusive Real Housewives of Potomac allegedly firing newbie Neka Ahim. Is it Ahim or Ahim? The Jasmine Brand exclusively reports that Neka Ahim has allegedly been fired from the Real Housewives of Potomac after her first season. She is now allegedly the third person from season eight who will not be returning for season nine. There were people on Twitter, and I even had somebody slide into my DMs and tell me that they knew basically from a production source. The person in my DM said that they knew from a production source that four people were supposed to be going and that people would be gasping at after Candace announced hers at, at the other three. And then somebody on Twitter was like, Candace was fired. How do you think they knew weeks ago? But then Ashley sat on Fox 5. Was it Fox 5, DC Fox 5? And recently said that at the time of Candace and Ashley's, I'm sorry, at the time of Candace's announcement and the Jasmine Band reporting on Robin's departure, that the network hadn't decided. So we don't know. Again, I do believe Candace walked away on her own. However, on Monday, April 15th, Robin Dixon announced on her Reasonably Shady podcast that she was also fired from the hit Bravo series. The Jasmine brand had exclusively reported that she was not returning after joining the show in the first season. We also know Candace Dilla Bissett, who joined RHOP in season three, an announced last month that she was leaving the show. For much of NECA's first season, she battled with fellow Nigerian Wendy Osefo and claimed Wendy Osefo's mother was allegedly a witch and submitted her name to a shrine. The two agreed to move forward and coexist on the final part of RHOP's reunion that aired Sunday night, April 14th. Fans also saw her adjust to Potomac life as she moved into a new home and she and her husband attempted to have a child. So the Jasmine brand is reporting that NECA um, has been fired. And for, honestly, it's more, isn't it more like not renewing their contract? Would that be a better way of saying it? Or like a truer way? I don't know. Either way, fired, not renewing the contract. Robin is not coming back. And they are reporting that NECA is not coming back. So we shall see. I think, and I'm just speculating, but if NECA is going, Robin is gone. Candace will not be there. I believe that Dr. Wendy will stay because I think, especially with all the backlash the network is getting with the um, boycott RHOP hashtag, the colorism conversation surrounding, I don't see them getting rid of Dr. Wendy. I really don't. And I don't see Dr. Wendy walking away on her own. Um, I do see Giselle trying to move forward with Wendy next season. Let me tell you something. I want whatever housewives they get, come in, form your own opinions. And if your opinions just so happen to have you feeling like you don't like some of the castmates after spending time with them, stay true to that. Don't allow yourself to be swayed, to be put on a team. Go in and be who you are. That's what I hope for um, Potomac casting. Now, do y'all think they're going to take a break from Potomac and casting, meaning pause before they even start looking? Or do you think that they're going to um, just roll right into it? I, I was watching, uh, shout out to my girl, Brooke Ashley, my good sis. I was watching her live last week. And somebody in her live commented and said they heard that Bravo was begging for Candace to come back. So I don't know how true that is. So some people are saying she was fired. And then you have some saying that Bravo is asking her to come back. Again, I'm going to say it again. I personally believe she walked away um, on her own accord, whether it's because what she knew was coming down the pike. I don't know. But I do believe she walked away on her own. But do you all think that they're going to take a minute before they even get into casting and let it breathe. And I want to know why Ashley Darby has not come out with any type of announcement. Really? Child, we shall see. We shall see. So what do y'all think? Do y'all plan on 
not tuning into Potomac next season, or are you going to wait and see what the cast looks like and maybe give it, give episode one or two a shot just to see y'all let me know y'all thoughts. As a matter of fact, y'all let me know y'all thoughts about all of it. What do you think about NECA? Do you think NECA should have been given another chance because maybe the, the um, divided cast maybe kind of took away from her. I don't know. What do you think about Robin leaving and her to me again, her shady, uh, She's not going to sugarcoat. This is not a break. The network just didn't ask her back. What do you think about that? What do you think about Alexia Chow and Todd saying, I'm out of here. I will no longer be doing this. I wonder if the show had anything to do with it. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Again, I appreciate every single view, every single subscriber. I love y'all so much. There are so many other content creators that you may very well enjoy. And I appreciate you adding me to that rotation. I'm grateful. Y'all, I'm gonna try to come back later today. Ciao with four, with Martha's. Listen, y'all, y'all, I just might have to start from episode four for Martha's Vineyard, okay? Because I'm gonna have to watch it again, take notes, all of them, all four, and take notes. But I really do want to talk about it with y'all. But anyway, I love y'all so much. I hope, again, I hope to come back later on today to Martha's Vineyard. But child, who knows? The way news is breaking today, I may come back with some other stuff for you. I feel like every time it gets sunny outside, folks start cutting up. So, all right, y'all. I love y'all so much. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.